Hello everyone, this class is going to be a follow-up to our last lesson where we learn how to win when we have our king and a pawn versus our opponent's king. So if you haven't reviewed that lesson, please go back, I'm leaving the link in the description below for you to review it before you get here. And honestly, this lesson is mainly to tell you that most of the things we learned in our last class will not apply to the rook's pawn. And when we say the rook's pawn, we refer to the pawns on the A file and the H file. So when it comes to this pawn, it's very easy for the defensive side to make it a draw. All they have to worry about is this promotion square. So if they make it to that corner, that promotion square that I'm headed with my pawn, it will be impossible for me to get them out and promote. And you'll see what I mean. So here, if, I, if it's a white pieces to move, we learned that if we get to the key squares, we should be fine. We learned that if the king gets to the sixth rank before the pawn, we should win this game easily. But you will see that even if I get to this key square and I take the opposition, it will be impossible for me to take the opposition again and then gain more space. If I had another file next to the A file, then I'll be able to go diagonally and penetrate to access the square, but I can't. So I could do either get in front of him, but then he goes back into the promotion square. And the other thing that I could do is just push the pawn, but then he just goes uh, side to side and I cannot make any progress. If I go here, he takes the opposition, push, and then here, again, if we had another file next to the A file, like to the left, he could probably get out and then I go in and promote, but he can't. So this is going to be stalemate, and that's why I cannot make any progress. So again, A pawn or H pawn, all I need to care about is about that promotion square. So if I'm the defensive side, like the black pieces, let me put this from the black's perspective. All I need to do is care about that. If I'm the, the, the player with the pawn, I need to make sure that this king doesn't get in there. Now, let me show you something a little bit more extreme. Even if I had a bishop, this might not work. In order for this to work for me, my bishop needs to be the same color as the promotion square in order for me to get the king out of there. Like right now, look, even if I put him in check, he goes in there, and if I try to make any progress with the king, that's going to be stalemate already. There's nothing I can do about it. Now, if this bishop happens to be a light square bishop, let's say I put it here, then that's going to be a different story. So now I could actually try to make progress. He goes in there, I bring my pawn, and now when he gets in there, I have the bishop to actually kick him out. And when he goes here, I go check, and notice that he cannot go back into that square, and thanks to the bishop. But that's only if the bishop is the same color as that promotion square. Otherwise, that's not going to be the case. So if I go back here, and I make that bishop a dark square bishop. So here we go. Uh, all I could do here is put him in check, he goes in, I cannot do anything else, it's going to be um, stalemate. Or I could just go back, but again, he's going to be back and forth. So again guys, I, I hope this proves how easy it is for my opponent to actually make it a draw. There's another way that we could make this a draw, and let me actually now flip the board and change this position. Take a look at this position, notice that my king is far from the promotion square, but I have another resource. I could simply go to c5 and make sure that the king never leaves this file. So he's going to be in front of the pawn, the pawn will not promote. And since there is no other file on the other side, the king cannot move to the side to let the pawn move. So now if he goes down, I just need to make sure that this king can never get out. If he goes down again, I keep him in there. Um, if he moves the pawn, well, I go down here. And you might be thinking, hey, now he has a chance to get out. But if he does, he allows me to get onto the promotion square. So the only thing they could do is go here, and I go up here. He goes up, I go down. He goes down, I go up. If he pushes the pawn, then same thing. I keep him in there. He will never be able to get out. He pushes the pawn, I go here, and then this is stalemate. So I actually stalemated my opponent, even though I don't have any other pieces, just the kick. So these are the two resources to make it a draw. Now I'm going to show you one more position. Here we are, sort of to summarize everything. Um, in this position, if it is the white pieces to move, they actually win the game. If it's the black pieces to move, it's going to be a draw. And let me show you what I mean. If it's the white pieces to move, they're just going to bring the king, and they would not let me get to the promotion square. You see? Now when I go up, he brings the pawn, and my king has no time to get to the pawn. So now he just pushes, and that's the end of it. 
Now, if it's a black pieces to move, I actually have time to get to the promotion square. So I keep going. And then here, if he just pushes a pawn or does something else, then I'm controlling the promotion square. But if he goes in just to keep me away, then we use the other resource, which is taking the lateral opposition and I'm just keeping the king uh, in there. So if he tries to go down, I just make sure that he can never get out. He goes up, the same thing. He pushes the pawn. Well, I'm going to go down here. Remember, I'm not concerned about him get going here or here because then that allows me to get to the promotion square. So if he continues to push a pawn, I go up, go down, and then it's the same thing. I just put him in stalemate. So to recap, guys, um, if you're the person with the pawn, you have to make sure that your opponent's king doesn't get to the promotion square. If you're the defensive side, just make a run for the promotion square. That said, guys, uh, this is something very important because even if you learn the right technique that we covered in our last lesson, if you're faced with a, a rook's pawn, then you see how things changed and you have to know this by heart. So I hope you found this helpful and I will see you in our next class.